the Select Tool Knife and Tool Sharpener here on BDB. Mahalo everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics coming at you today with the Select Tool. Now, I've stated before in my other videos, I am not a knife guy at all. I really barely carry them when I'm out in the street or at work, just to cut open boxes if anything, but you know, I've been slashed too many times throwing my hand in my pocket with like subpar knives that opened up. So that's why I'm just not really into them. I'd rather use like a box cutter for some utility, but around the house, I definitely have a need for this tool. So I got sent it a few months back by the company, uh, courtesy of my friend, Doug. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate you uh, vouching for me. And um, this basically says it does it all. And I've watched plenty of their reviews online and the results speak for themselves. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, my name's Big Daddy. I'm a police firearms instructor in the biggest department in the nation. I do gun and gear reviews with that Big Dick Energy. Check out BigDickBallistics.com for merch. Every dollar you spend on there, I put right back into the channel to give you the best and latest stuff that's on the market. Check out Goldberg and McEnany, attorneys at law. They specialize in NYPD and FDNY disability pensions. If you have any questions or comments or concerns of yours, give them a call. The number's right here. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions, and if they think you have a case, they'll represent you. Also, check out the Rusty Cuffs podcast. I was on there a few months back. Great dudes, police weekly news, and just good drink recipes. So check them out. Also, check out Medicine in Bad Places. I'm affiliated with them as well. They provide outstanding teaching when it comes to TAC Med, Canine Med, TCCC, even firearms related stuff. So give them a follow as well. Check them out. The link's below. Also check out SBG Outfitters, Sexy Bull Guy Outfitters. I just bought this t-shirt from them to show them some love. Beneath it all, everyone is bald. So check them out. They're LEO and veteran owned. The Select Tool. It does knives. It does scissors. It does chisels. It does hatchets. It claims to do everything. Now, back when I was in Cub Scouts, uh, we had this thing called Totem Ship where you earn the right to carry a pocket knife when you were at scouting events and going camping and whatnot. And the first thing they said before acknowledging that you got the knife from the next person passing it to you was a dull knife is an unsafe knife. And I never forgot that ever since I was a little kid. We want the blade to do the work for us, right? We want to get the most out of the tool that we're using by having it ready to go. And that's having the knife at its sharpest. That way we put less effort into it and then potentially we won't slip and cut ourselves, right? Well, I have a knife block that's 11 years old. It's a Farberware. It's got steak knives, paring knives, some chef's knives, uh, you know, the big chopping knives whatsoever. So we're gonna run it through this and we're gonna see how it works. Let's get on with it. So this is one of the steak knives. It's kind of hard to see, but it's got visual imperfections to the blade, but they work. I don't wanna buy a new set. The set cost a lot of money back in the day and it's still complete, right? So the way this works, you're using this to do some kind of knife, like a household knife. You have two edges, one for the left, one for the right. Now, basically you guide off the side, aka you rest it against the plastic edge to form that, to form that bevel on each side, okay? And then when you're done with that, you have the hone. I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube where this takes off a lot of metal, so I'm anxious to see if this works. But essentially, the knife looks like this, close view, and then it eventually will look like this. It'll reform the shape of the blade for you. So we'll see how this works. They recommend you do it off of a table. I'm doing this ad lib, all right, for you, my audience. So now they say start at the forward edge, like put it into thirds, right? So start with the first third, then work your way back to the second third, then all the way back forward, and it should make a difference. So we're gonna start and angle it here. Oof. Not smart, but whatever. I'll work my way back a little more. And every time I bring it through, it seems to be getting a little bit easier to drag through. And I do see some visible flake coming off, uh, both on the tool and like floating in the air. So that's pretty neat. I guess it's working. All right, now I'm gonna go from the other side. Again, guys, safety first. I should be wearing probably 
Oh, I forgot to start from the front. So here we go. Starting from the front again. Should be wearing a chain mail suit like a, a knight. Okay, so let's start back from the other side. I can start all the way from the back now. But yeah, it's definitely easier to pull through. And again, just resting it against the side to create that bevel and kind of like angle it in again. And I could already see a lot of the imperfections are taking out and I have fresh metal exposed, which I really haven't seen in years, to be honest. Now I'm gonna flip it over to the hone side. I'm just gonna drag it straight through. I'm gonna start with the forwardmost third again. Work my way back. And I can see on the light that there's a visible edge on there now. And it definitely feels sharper. I can see less little imperfections and gouges. Now here's a fresh sheet of printer paper from before. Um, I've never done a test like this, but let's see. Let's see if I can mimic what these guys do on the internet. Ugh. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but it seemed, it seems to work. I don't know. I really, again, 